We have dominant pitching. We have great glove work. We have outstanding hitting. And the wind is blowing out, which makes for all sorts of potential for this game one. Here's White Morgan to lead it off. Swings at the first one, and that's going to go foul. And as you look at the stands, 68 games this season, the 1-2. Did it get him? Yes, it did. And then he's going to reach base again. 73 straight games if you go back to last season. The way you want to start the game. 2-0 into left field. Dylan Cruz with his speed, touches third. Shellnuts throw. Not in time, 1-0. Tigers, Beloso delivers the first run of the game. Well, that's the plan, right? Take a couple breaking balls, stay on a two-seam heater, and smash it to the backside. Just a beautiful piece of hitting from the veteran Beloso. And the Tigers take a couple free passes and one big swing of the bat by their veteran DH. And the Tigers strike first. He's working hard. This is the 30th pitch on a 92-degree day in Omaha. They got Jobert with a changeup. And this ball is put up in the air, and look at how deep this one is going, all the way to the track and still going. And at the wall, it is caught by Cruz. That is a whole different ball flight than we have seen. Showered on the mound, won't be for much longer. Rivera chased. How about the elevator that Floyd's riding on the first? They strand one at second, one zip through one. And now a 2-2. And this one is into right field. That's going to get down. A huge hit from the nine-hole hitter, Malazzo. And LSU has got two men on, one down, and turning it over to the top. Pitch was in the zone. 3-2. And that one gets by and will go to the backstop. So he didn't get hit by that one, but a ball four. And now the bases are loaded. For the He's sitting on one with them loaded. And a first pitch caught. What a play by the third baseman. Halter. That's what gets you to Tommy White. Barrels it up. Colby Halter in the spot. One, two. He chased it. What a job. Sproke got the line shot from Tommy White. And he punched out Morgan. They leave him loaded. Get the ball below your belt. Like that. And he sends it right between first and second. Heyman's aboard his fifth hit in the World Series. Special kick. There it is. He looks good. Struck out 10 Demon Deacons. He's halfway there. We are through two. That led to the Beloso RBI single. That one is smoked down the line in left, and it is over the wall. Gavin Dugas leaves the yard, and the Tigers now have a 2-0 lead on his 17th of the year. Strike a pose, young man. The captain wears number eight for a reason. That is a special player for the big sw swing. He has been dialed in tonight on top of everything. And that's a sinker that don't sink. And that one gets hit in the bullpen. A missile. A comfortable in tick. Because you just. There's another rocket into right field. It gets cut off by Evans. Beloso hits it hard. Wow. Changeup got him. It was wicked. That strike got number six. And a 3 1. Got one to hit. Sends this one to right center field. Cruz is going back. He's looking. It drops in the gap. Carlin's going to step on third. He's going to be held at third. And wow. That ball came in. A hold at third base. Gone on top of one. That's a tough play. Took a bad hop off Morgan. They flip to first. They get Caglione. The run comes in. What a play by Floyd and but man, has he played an All-American shortstop? Chased up and in 97. Seven punch outs. And is having a memorable CWS. That's up the middle, and that's gonna put him on. Trey Morgan. Off the end of the bat to center field. Langford coming, late jump, and he cannot get it. That ball still on the ground. Roberts is held at third Ooh. base. Uh, Morgan, I should say, held at third base. It was a close one. It helped that Evans ran over there quickly. Morgan's at third, Dugas at second, Beloso at first. The one-two. Good pitch. 
Boy, he has come up with the outs when he needed them. Another strikeout for Brandon. Great slider away. He picks up strikeout number eight. Chase that one. It's been the best pitch. He's got nine strikeouts. LSU's got a 2 1 lead. We're through four. And on the ground, charged. Halter got rid of it quickly. A nice play by the third baseman, and they were two down. The 0 2 from Fisher. Way outside. He got him. Cade Fisher went 93. And that's a line shot. That one is down the line. Going over to cut it off is Pearson. And Evans is hustling to second, and he dives in with a double. Ty Evans lead off double for the Gators, and the tying run is aboard. Base coach and a hitter. And then Jay Johnson came out for a quick talk with a home plate umpire. And White will have one play, and he throws it to first. So the bunt works for Halter. And he did slap to the second baseman. He missed it. Runner was coming on contact, and we are tied. And that is roped into right. That's going to get down. Evans will pick it up. But that's what Tommy White does as well as any. That one is caught by Caglione. Fires to second. And they throw it back to Fisher, who wasn't on the bag. What a slider. Uh -oh. And he got him. It's only two, BT. <laughs> Just two, big dog. Jones rolls it over, and that is the play you can take. Halter steps on third. Little interest out of high school, and he said to his mom, I want to go to LSU. That's my lifelong dream. And he's living it right now. 11 punch outs, two in the inning. Uh -oh. That ball is hammered to right field. Oh, oh is right. It is out of here. BT Ryapel. And as he flies the fence, the Gators jump into the lead. Hundred and six point six miles per hour off the bat, and Florida now leads it three two. It's in the postseason, boys. Five of them have been launched, and all he does is come up with big hits. A no doubter into the right field seats, and, I, ooh, and wow. a heck of a grab in this. And the thirteen runners left on base right now is looming large. There's that elevated pitch for a strikeout. A dozen strikeouts. So but great. And the three true outcomes walk home run strikeout. Tough play here at third. Good strong throw though. Halter as he waited on it. And Thompson. Inside they won it. And he got another punch out. That's five for Cade Fisher. Fifteen strikeouts. Ty Floyd. He made that play. 0 oh, 2 Fisher to White. That uh -oh. ball is drilled. Left field back, and we are tied. Tommy Tanks does it again. Brand new ball game for one of the best power hitters in college baseball. Strike stance. Look how wide. Almost no movement there to get ready, but a hanging breaking ball that's right in his go zone. Slider that just kind of hangs out and over the plate. And Tommy Tanks has made a career of not missing those pitches. Chase that one though, and he percent of the people in this building are on their feet. Swinging 17 strikeouts, matching the nine inning record here in Omaha in a finals. Cling chases and he's gone. Here's Pearson and he rolls it right back to him and that will send the Gators back to the batter's box, bottom of the ninth. Lenny successful here in Omaha. Rivera on the ground and Tommy White fields cleanly and throws and there's one man down in baseball 2-2 two -two. Got him Riley Cooper does the job. They'll strand the winning run at second 
Let's play extras, fellas. Second base. 0 oh, 2, and that one is sky high. Changeup got him out in front of it. And they do out. call the infield fly. Dugas hits one to center, and it's playable. Robertson is there. LSU had its chance, but back to the theme that started the night. Right back at you off the glove, and now you may have an issue. Cooper gets it. Friars not in time. And that ball is ripped to left field. It is caught out there in left field by Pearson. They throw back. What a play by Pearson. They don't get the double play. Off the bat, it looked like it was over his head, and he was there to make the play. 112 miles an hour off the bat, and Josh Pearson climbs the ladder to take away the look at that catch how about the athleticism the winning run Caglione popped up and playable he slams his bat down Morgan is called off and Florida like LSU cannot bring the runner in. that one was right in his wheelhouse and Beloso big time home run to put the Tigers on top A belly bomb and a no-doubter. And the Tigers lead it 4-3. Okay, Beloso, a belly bomb <laughs> for the Tiger slugger. And he went into his slow stroll right about there. That's a senior just taking his time and enjoying the moment it doesn't get much better than that the tigers up one here in extras and this one is to right field it sends the right fielder back but short of the track and that catch made by kling one down one out away as cooper gets ryapel The Tigers will win game one behind Floyd, Cooper, and a Beloso blast. 4-3 is the final.